Tony, today in the trial of the man accused of killing a 16-year-old girl more than 30 years ago. The jury finally heard from the two men who found the body of Sarah Yarborough and also helped police build a sketch of the suspect. Andrew Miller was just 13 years old in December 1991. He and his friend Adam were passing through the Federal Way High School campus on a Saturday morning to go skateboarding at a nearby Albertsons. They stopped to stomp in some frozen puddles, and then as they continued walking, a man stood up in the bushes. For whatever reason, he just walked out of the bushes, started walking the same direction we were. So we kept kept walking and looked at each other like, what the hell is that dude doing? Probably just, we both assumed he's probably just smoking some weed in the bushes. So we kept on walking because we couldn't see where Sarah was yet until we got closer. And I continued watching the guy who stood up because I was uneasy about this dude that time in the morning just sitting in the bush, especially after we had just wasted so much time smashing all those puddles. And then all of a sudden, Adam said, there's a girl in the bushes. And I turned and looked, and that's when I saw Sarah's body. I turned back, looked at him. He was now standing close. There was a vehicle parked right around the corner where the parking lot is. Standing right next to that vehicle, <clears throat> grabbed Adam and said, run, ran back to my house. Miller says both of them ran as fast as a little kid could. Couldn't have took more than a minute to get back to my house. What did you do when you got home? Uh, burst in the front door. I just threw my skateboard in the lawn, burst in the front door, <clears throat> told my mom and Wayne, who were sitting in the kitchen, uh, that we had found a girl in the bushes. And Wayne just immediately popped up, ran out, told my mom, call 911. Adam stayed at my house with my mom, calling 911. And we, he wanted to see if we can help her, you know. So we jumped into his car, drove right back up to that little gate where we jump over the fence at, and we jumped over the fence, went back down, and, you know, Wayne could see that there was nothing he could do to help. Well, police used their description of the suspect to build a sketch, but Patrick Nicholas wasn't arrested until 2019 after DNA connected him to the killing. His defense attorneys planned to challenge the method used to ID him through genetic genealogy, as well as the accuracy of the sketch. Later tonight, we'll bring you more of today's testimony, and you will hear from Andrew's friend, Adam.